Hello. In this video, I will show you how you can install MaxLIT multi-purpose website and business manager system. Uh, to do so, at first you need to log into your cPanel. I already logged into my cPanel, and you have to go to File Manager, and then go to the install path where you want to install if you want to install it in your main path just upload it to public dot underscore html uh, i would like to install it in uh, the folder so that's why i create a folder so folder is created now i will upload the file uh, to this folder now i will go to my download path i already uh, open it so i need to you need to upload this file let's upload it wait for a while when it complete we will be back so upload is completed now get back to the file manager reload it and I right click and then extract extract the file okay. our first part is complete now we have to create a database for this script so, so to do so we need go to back to cpanel and we get back to the database mysql database or you can just go to mysql database wizard let's go with this uh, here here we will create our database uh, from mysql database wizard here we need to give it a name for uh, database so i will name it and click next step now we need to create a database user for this database so you will uh, keep it same We will uh, generate a password for it. Make sure you copy this password somewhere. Let's uh, keep it here. So let's keep it here and uh, get back to there. And now click create a user. Do not forget to store this uh, password. I keep this password at Google search so that I can uh, just copy pay, copy it when I run the install wizard. Then now we need to create click on create user. So I don't save it. Now you need to give the all privileges to this newly created database user and uh, database. So I just check on the all privileges. Now click the next step and everything is done so we need those details to install the script now we will get back to the file and we need to go this installation path to install this so uh, type the url and then this is your installation path you need to write here install do not forget to this is file uploaded path if you if you can check we upload our file to this folder and we just uh, put another slash install and then hit enter and now you here is the all license term and click to the agree and next step and here all here you can see all of our extension and uh, server requirement is ready then click next 
folder permission is ready then click next then click next now here is something you need to know so we need to put database username here so we will find the database username at here if you can see this user is this one we need to copy this and paste it here now we need database name here it is uh, we can put we just put database name here and now we need the password we i store this in google search so uh, just it you need to give a email for admin so i gave it to my now click on install now wait for a while here it is our installation is done now click on this visit website click here uh, your website is ready here it is site is ready now you need to go back to the file manager and then delete this zip file i delete it permanently and you need to install a uh, delete this installation path you know in installation folder just delete it delete confirm and here it is the installation part is complete you can log into admin panel slash login slash admin from here you will find all the details in this uh, next LIT item documentation or you will find all this in the uh, documentation online documentation uh, online documentation link is here here are all the details how you can uh, log into your admin panel and here is the demo password username and password problem by uh, if you face any kind of problem using uh, installing on this script you can uh, contact with the support from uh, support and then go to go to item support you can log in using any of your social media or uh, you can also create a uh, you can also find all the solution is here click on the solution you will find all necessary solution here you can also create a guest uh, guest ticket or uh, for your any of your problem do not forget to if you open a support ticket do not forget to put your uh, problem explanation and also don't forget to give your purchase code it's necessary that's it for now i hope you can install it easily uh, thanks for watching